Danny always enjoyed this. Man, I love that sound. Wait, is this, is this the right show? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 80 of A Brew With You. I am one of your hosts, Big Deal Blake. Oh, I switched it up for you, Danny. Accompanied by the undecided beer picker, Jeff Stewart. That was a brutal time at Benny's. What's going yeah, on, Blake? Yeah, what's up, man? How long did it take, man? Uh, like mm, an hour and a half. Just kidding. Hour and a half? No, it was like a, it was a solid 30 minutes in there. And what did, what did everyone think, like, oh, you had a big lunch? I work? got asked like seven times, are you doing okay? Are you doing okay? Like, are you stealing? Are you doing okay? <laughs> For real? Uh, they All thought the I was. Yeah, seeing that you're like going to a Benny's at one o'clock. Like, yeah. Thursday, you like, you look rather suspicious. Yeah, yeah, it was one o'clock. Baby, you know. just bottle. What beer to get? <laughs> it's 420. They thought I was stoned. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm it's just a pastel shirt. Yeah. yeah. Damn, For people who <laughs> smoked yeah. weed at this table, don't know who it could have been. I have no mm. idea. But have you ever had... Uh, uh, like you know how you have like the munchies when you're you, you get stoned, um. So I've heard, um. <laughs> but do you have like the beer like that you have like you want to drink some beer when you when you get when you have some weed in you? I never like had that craving. Before. I thought, thought you were gonna. I thought before. you were gonna ask if you ever got the beer munchies, and the automatic response to that was about to be yes. How beer long, munchies. How long have you known me? Beer munchies. Well, yeah, you always have beer munchies though. I don't think the weed enhances <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> and joining us <laughs> for. This is the fourth time doing this, correct, gentlemen? I think it's the th- uh, third regular, one ex- exclusive. Okay. Well, so, just yes, say the, yeah, I'll say the fourth time with the fearsome foursome, Kevin Barlett, and the previous host of A Brew With You, Danny Brahas. Welcome, Welcome back, gentlemen. guys. Hey, the, it's my very first time guest hosting. Yeah, you're the first yeah. guest host. You have the power. It's like when you're the host on Saturday Night Live, you just kind of like have the power. Right. You ever see that one where Mike Myers, after he was done with Saturday Night Live, didn't make it big and he went back as host and he came back. He's like, you don't have to do this. You're the host. Yeah. He's like, what? I can get away with all this yeah. shit? Like, yeah, you're the host. Oh, wow. He did a whole song and dance. And yeah, and you Lauren that? Michaels oh, yeah, started that. that as well. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Well, thanks for keeping the seat warm over here. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I, it feels weird. Kevin, you said something really funny before the show. Oh, uh, I just asked you if it kind of felt like you were in the same room with your ex-girlfriend and current girlfriend. It feels exactly like that. Yeah, it's awkward for all of them. Kevin, what makes you? Thanks for making what it worse. You? Does that uh, make you more like my, my, my best friend that I have to bank. fight in? Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do, bro. <laughs> I have a history with this one, but this one I really like. <laughs> Hey man, just do whatever your heart tells you. He's, he's, oh he's Switzerland, but in a very Amsterdam way. <laughs> <laughs> the new progressive Switzerland. Yes. Oh man, um, Danny just flew in like a couple hours ago from Boy, the old tired. city of Kansas, and <laughs> wow, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think you heard that. Sorry, yeah. I, I totally did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Everyone heard it. I remember it's that joke now. from the old uh, Beck's commercials about the, the German stand-up comedians. And uh, I flew here from Germany, and boy, my arms are tired. And one guy claps, and he's like, Beck's, we know beer better than comedy. Yeah, that's like, like a Rodney Dangerfield joke. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, man, Rodney. Mm. When's the last time you saw I seen Caddyshack? Actually, not, months ago? actually not too long ago. Yeah, yeah I was, was going to say it's on this Netflix. calendar year. It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's probably yeah. just on for the Masters, so it's, it's always oh, playing. Oh, uh, like you know what? I think, yeah. I like to see. Yeah, I haven't, that was I haven't just, seen. That was a couple weeks ago. Masters was, yeah, it was just like last week weekend. Or, yeah, two, was, yeah last, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, that's like the only golf I watch. My dad is a, a, a fierce passion for the Masters, but that's it. Like, Great that's finish. It. Oh, amazing. Masters. It was, it was one of the best finishes in a long time. Yeah. I think my most memorable finish ever. No, it wasn't when Stupid Tiger Woods won. It was <laughs> when um, uh, Phil Mickelson won the first time. It was oh, his first was major. Really emotional. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. That was fun. Garcia I'll, was really good. What was your favorite moment in the Masters ever, Danny? Uh, my unpopular opinion of stating that watching golf on TV is boring. There <laughs> <I said. laughs> eh, can't argue with that. Wait, you know? where's our shirts? Oh, you guys. Well, you all, I, 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 maybe I misread the text. I thought we were so not doing I, it. So I bought these two matching sports shirts. Um, and I was, yeah, we sh- you guys should have been wearing them. We but can that's put them okay. on right now. It's okay. It's okay. We can put them on. You want to put, we can put it on right now. I want it to happen. <laughs> Wait, you just want our shirts? Is that off. mine right there? Is that where's yours? Mine's on the couch. You want to put them on? I can do that. Give me that. I'll put it on. I gotta be back in one second. Gotta be back. Talk, guys. Remember how yeah. to do this, Danny? Um, so, so basically, so uh, getting, basically uh, coming, right 
basically because you know that I love sports ball. Uh, I bought a very generic sports t-shirt. Ah. And then I also bought some for these guys uh, so that they could wear them on the show together. Uh, since they're such big fans. Sportsing. Yeah, they're such big fans of sportsing. So I figured they need encouragement about sports to yes. talk about sports on a show yes. that has usually nothing to do with sports. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also wearing a sports shirt. You are. <laughs> Um, Broadcasting live from outside of the United Center. There we go. Hey! Sports, and we're sports, back. Sports, 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 sports. <laughs> doing, doing good today at the you thing get you're to be doing. the full-time host because you're a great guy at sports. <laughs> sports. Gonna, I got to say, they look pretty good. I'm yeah, excited to wear yeah. mine. I'm going to parade yeah. it around the next time doing something major. Doing good at the thing you're doing. I, didn't even get, oh, do, oh, I love that. <laughs> do good at the thing you're doing. How would you uh, stumble upon this? Uh, you were talking I about just, this a while I ago. I was researching shirts that said sports on them so I could wear one to work. Oh, I like this. Um, because I like to shout out sports really loud when people are cheering for games. I see this as kind of like, I could see this being the, you know, the wife's shirt or the girlfriend sure. who doesn't give a shit about sports, but she yes. wears it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, feel that way? Slipping it on the next day. Because <laughs> <laughs> she got so wasted at the game, and then, <laughs> bleh, right. bleh, bleh, then she puts on the shirt sure. the day afterward. I mean, anything oh. you can do to make it sound masculine now that you made it sound like you're both wearing an effeminate shirt. It's a nice color, though. True. <laughs> that does not help. That it. didn't help at all. No. I was going to say get an extra small for me, but this one fits good. <laughs> and remember, hey, the size of a t-shirt. The always shirt makes doesn't a make a man. The man makes the shirt. <laughs> and the size. And the size. If it's really baggy, it <laughs> looks terrible. Yes, that's very important. Yeah. Yeah. For any of you joining us for the very first time, <laughs> a brew with you is where Jeff, Danny, Kevin, and I will try a beer that we never had before while discussing random topics. With the whole episode being released on Monday. Yay! <laughs> Hailed it. Oh, there we go. If you like what you hear, like what you see, you like what you feel, go to patreon.com slash big deal Blake to get this entire episode along with your extra rewards, perks, and just to support the show. Um, as you can see right now, um, my set is in pen. It's under construction. My set, our mm-hmm. studio is under Very construction. Very dangerous. Do we need hard hats? I know. Yeah, we should put hard hats yeah. on. Yeah. Hey guys, everyone stand still for a second. Let's put hard hats on. One, two, three. Okay, we had safety there. <laughs> Very good. All right. Uh, and then... Uh, so my set, the studio, the Big Deal Blake studio, again, there's changes coming slowly, slowly, but surely. And you notice they are happening. But this is our new set. And uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great when it's done. But, if, uh, if anything I falls on me, I'm going to sue. So who are you going to sue? You. And what are you, well, for what? What are you going to sue me for? Beer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what, what else do you sue people for? All, all of your Patreon funds will go to Jeff yes. every month. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, 75%. Yeah. Gosh, it's like, it really is, feels like a divorce. <laughs> um, so... Uh, uh, Jeff, it was Jeff's turn to bring the beer, and he uh, brought two bombers of the same kind, right? I did, yeah. The same so, kind. Jeff, what'd you bring today, buddy? Um, so, I got three Floyds. It's Necron 99. Necron. It's it sounds a, like a, a, a Nintendo game. It kind of looks like it with the, like the with the graphics. Look at the graphic. What does that say? Peace wants love, wants free, will help. Is that right? Like I don't know. I just, I, just I, saw, I, you were like I saw a slogan on it, so I know you like to read the bottle slogan, so I passed it off to you. Peace wants love, wants free, will help. I don't know. What I, it, yeah, a little over it's, my head. It's Maybe very it's like robotic. Talking about a robot. Yeah, 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 I think that's what it's. All right. So like, just <laughs> a brief that. description. It's a Scotch style ale. Interesting. It's got mm. tropical fruit aroma, primarily passion fruit, pineapple, and mango. More subtle notes of berries. Melon, citrus, and floral are also present with a full malt profile and a bitter finish. Excellent. And I think it's sounds, like... Sounds great. I want to say it's 7.3%. Woo! We haven't had um, scotch ales on the show, one, in a long time, but two, off, like, yeah. very little. Why don't you I don't drink up? them a lot. Yeah. Why don't we do both? We'll split this one. You guys split that one. All right, cool. Yeah. There you go. Danny? Makes sense. Just like old times. There we are. There we go. Welcome back. Welcome, ba- welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome I back. Welcome back. I thought about getting like back. a Tank 7 or something like that, but I'm sure you have it all the time. Yes. Because that's like my favorite by Boulevard. Uh, that's an excellent uh, That's an excellent farmhouse, and it is on our local 30 uh, at my current job. And it so is we're hands down, cat, ladies and gentlemen. hands down, one of the most popular beers in KC. Like, How's business? We are... Thanks, Probably one of safely one of the busiest locations already. Like we are coming, in the country? We, well, at, in our company, and wow. Oh, we we're coming out of the gates really hard and really fast. And apparently, the location that we're at in Westport in Kansas City only gets worse during the summer. Like people all come home from school, and that is like the place to go out. 
So oh, I'm nice. looking, I'm looking so you're busy to, in the off season right I'm, now. I'm busy in the off season. I'm looking forward to a lot of Joe colleges coming home to, to oh. you know, to, to talk about college and oh, sports and yeah. things like Go that. Sports. You're going to have to buy more yeah. shirts. <laughs> Go sports. Yes. Go sports. sports. Uh, I <laughs> aim to take home a bottle of Rumplemans uh, oh, so yeah. that I can teach Joe college a thing or two about uh, how we do shots in Chicago. Uh, Rumplemans. I haven't uh, had that no, since college. Sorry, Malort. I was gonna say, I was like, like, I was like, like that's like the. I don't know uh, why Rumplemans popped into my head, man. Because like, they're all I nasty. Because they're all Joe College shots. Wait, isn't Rumplemans? It, it tastes like something. It's the cinnamon. It's, it's uh, like peppermint. Peppermint. It's, uh, peppermint. 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 Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. But it's got like the thick. It's yeah. viscous. Yeah. I was okay with that. I remember in college, we didn't drink that much of it. It's uh, hundred. It's hundred proof. That's. I'd the rather do that part. than Malort. Is that the one you can? No, I was thinking about the one you can light on fire, but that's the rum. Any alcohol. 151. 151. 151. Anyone that's 80 proof or higher. College. Yeah. You yeah. light it on fire and then you don't blow it out soon enough and you burn your lips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Pierce Brosman almost did that on The Muppet Show. He was Stupid breathing people. fire and he almost burned his face I off. was like, he was doing shots on The Muppet Show? <laughs> yeah. Shots of 151. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Well, welcome back, Danny welcome back. and Kevin, because this is our fourth time doing this, I believe, in 80 episodes. That's exciting. Sure. Once every 20 Cheers. episodes. Mm-hmm. All right. Nostrovia, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Nostrovia. Scott Trail, then. Down the hatch. Mm. That is solid. Solid is the word I'm looking for. That's exactly what I think of. Yeah, that's very... Got some hoppiness there. Very tropical. I do taste the, the mango and the fruit in it. A little sweetness in the aftertaste, I feel. I'm, I'm, not, I'm waiting for a little... I'm not really getting a... Like a strong flavor of anything. Hmm. It's, this is very mild. The, it's hop good. Is, the it's hops good. is the strongest part so of the thing. The interesting thing about it is that it labels itself as a Scotch style ale and not a Scotch uh. ale. Uh, Scotch ales are also commonly referred to as wee heavies. Um, those are going to be the ones with huge malt backbones. Uh, Scott ish ales are usually the lighter versions of those, but a Scotch style ale, They're the I'm guessing, is something that they just kind Love of took, took the <laughs> took the essence of, and we're just like we're gonna blend this in with our own thing because they're three Floyds and they can do that. Um, but me personally, I, I I really like that on the first taste. Oh I, yeah, I yeah, like it. It's just really not. Good. It's not. It's just not like punching me. In, yeah, in, I, I was thinking like about the history of the show. Danny and I were on the show, and Jeff. We haven't had too many big gaps of beer. I think like the largest gap we had is like like in the first episode Jeff was the official host where he gave it something like a nine and I gave it like a six point five or a seven, I think. And Danny had and I had one where uh, just like one time where there was only like a two. It was not even like it's like I ne- never like given a beer a four. Yeah. And Jeff's giving it like a nine. I feel like, like last right. week's was a, kind of a big gap because. Garrett gave it a nine. I gave it a seven and a half, and you gave it an, an eight. eight. We were in the all in but the middle, but still, seven and a half to nine, I, I consider a, a more of a larger gap. Yeah, I mean, you're never gonna find like a four and a nine. Never. Yeah. I mean, it's it, you're gonna have to really hate a beer. I think yeah, like I remember Danny and I after rating all these beers we've done for so many times. I think we only like like really disagreed. Like twice, and by really disagree, we were off by like two. Out yeah. of the five point skill we did at the time was like two points, and we've only been off, I think, like one yeah. time. But well, Kevin, the beer's good. Kevin the and I, we're good. just we're just the same. Yeah, he just we likes to drink. Always <laughs> on the same page. It's got alcohol in it. I'll That's give it a right. ten. He's mixing his beer and whiskey and everything. He's just messed up. <laughs> Kevin, we got to get you on I the show. Just get all cylinders. <laughs> yeah. Drink that pretty quickly. Yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, uh, it's a funny thing because like, it? it's so funny. I don't <laughs> drink beer that often anymore. I really don't. And it's like this show is like where I drink beer now, and it's just it's so welcoming when I. That's why. But yeah. the reason I like this show because it's like the yeah. excuse to drink beer now. Agreed. I, like I don't drink at all during the week except yeah. for today. But uh, I still drink my uh, spirits I, though from time. I haven't said anything. Have you? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. I haven't. <laughs> uh, I can't uh, help that beer is literally part of my job. And, um, and appropriately life. enough for. 420. This actually, to me, does have it's a very, a very then. kind of resiny aftertaste to it. Like it, like it weed? almost, it almost has just kind of like that kind of like tar smoke kind of finish. Not in a bad way. I know it's a weird way to describe it, but that is kind of like the effect that I'm getting on the back end of it. What, what's it? Totally, bro. I mean, <laughs> what? What is, is there? An expression to be drunk and high at the same time? Is there a word for that? Just fucked uh, up. Yeah, you fucked know, up. Uh, I actually just learned this from one of my employees. <laughs> of course. They call it crossfaded now. Ooh, like oh. crossfire. Okay, <laughs> that's new. Crossfaded. Uh, that's yeah. the new. That's what people Damn say now. Millennials. That seems really long. Uh, that seems really long. I for could expression. talk if we. I could. I could talk for two hours about the the youth. I would generation. say cross. He so, looks cross. 
Yeah, you can't no, change it. It's, it's crossfaded. That's I can change it my damn show. God damn it. We're yeah, too no. old. Yeah. They won't listen. <laughs> they won't that's, listen. That's that's a like we're too old. In, too in, the, in, the, in the service industry, that's a thing. Like I find myself sometimes having to be like, what what did they just say? Oh I yeah. So now it's useful because if a kid tells me he's too crossfaded to come in, I'm going to be like, ah. I know exactly what's yes. going on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You like playing the game Crossfire? No, I mean you yes. like you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're <laughs> drunk and high. I I uh, I uh, for me. Seeing when this is is four twenty, you know, yeah. gotta talk about weed a little bit here. Yeah, yeah bro, yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't know. P- my P- biggest P- thing is gotta like, simplify, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, yeah, the Simpsons. I uh, see that's back. You're back. Yep. You're the Simpsons <laughs> references. I'm back on the show now. No secret that to anyone who knows me, like weed was never really my thing. Yeah, I've smoked before several times. Weed was never my thing, and if it is, it's awesome. And it's like one of those guys. I'm not a big weed, fan of weed, but. Hundred percent pushing for legalizing, like legalize the shit out of that. Well, yeah, money, is, gonna, money you know, is money. At the end of, the, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, in a state that needs it, absolutely. And I'm just like, if just do it. And I mean, they're really talking about it recently on the news. Yeah. Like, I mean, if Donald Trump ever wanted to try and make his image any slightly better, that's that's one way to go about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think absolutely. It would yeah. be. Colorado made close to two billion dollars, well, and that's last Illinois year. is notorious for kind of waiting on things. So I think they were waiting to see. You know how this the, panned out long term for not long term, but I wonder, after a couple I, of years. I mean, this is just a, a, a really out there guess, really out there. But do you think, especially in Chicago, that let's say Illinois legalizes weed, do you think crime would go down a little bit, like a little bit? Just because people would just be so chill. Yeah, no, yeah. I think it'll go down just because less drug dealers too. Yeah. Like, so yeah, I think it'll go down. Um, I don't I, because in the neighborhoods that the crime is being committed, they're not going to go to a weed store. They're going to keep getting it how they got it before. Yeah, you think so? Yes. But they're just yes. the gateway. They're just selling it to other people too. They're selling it to the white guys up here. Yes. Not, I mean, not directly, but yes. <laughs> that no, and if you were smart, you'd be buying it from a white guy. I don't know that from experience. <laughs> um, because if you, I mean, white guys from up here aren't driving to the south side of Chicago to buy weed. No, they're not. I mean, I mean it's, no. it's handed off a couple of times. It's it's touched a few hands. One drugs, please. I like what Kevin. Uh, the, what <laughs> Kevin says that everyone's just so chill. They're like. I don't want to use I my think the gun car- today. I was going to rob this <laughs> bank, but you know what? I don't even want to anymore. They, uh, they did say in the news this morning that um, Colorado's car accidents have gone up 48%. Oh, snap. And they, they said today that if Chicago does or Illinois does it, that it's going to go up. I think they missaid it because they said 75 people per year will die, but I think they meant to say 75%. Because Holy they, shit. So like the accidents have gone way up in Colorado. But the, I think Deadly that's, accidents. I think that's like really? kind of expected. 48%. I think that's a little expected when you introduce a drug, like a legalizing drug, because I feel that like, you know, if you're going to be smoking weed, you shouldn't be behind the wheel. Like I know a lot, everyone still does it, but I mean, it's still like no, no different from alcohol. You sure. shouldn't be behind the wheel when you have alcohol on you. But like legalize it, but you should have some limitations on it. There but has to be. I think like also too, if you introduce it to a new state like Colorado, and it's like it's fresh new, it, that shit's gonna happen, you know, that's right away. And it's just like about like getting over that hump and then like realizing it, it sucks, but a lot of people are dumb, so you have to get over that <laughs> yeah. hump and then you just <laughs> and then it'll like level people. itself out. I feel. I yes, hope so. I, I I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I think it's just people are people excited get, to smoke weed. So yeah, they have to then, learn how to handle it and yeah. be adults about it and. It'll, it'll be just like if you change the drinking age to 18 from 21. Like yeah. if you did it used that, to be, right? It used to be 18. It did. Yeah, yeah back in the 70s, I think. Wisconsin was 18 up until like like 80s or that something. That explains a lot. Yeah. Damn Packers. Fucking cheeseheads. I mean, if, if, you, <laughs> if you did it now, though, like if you did that now, though, uh, introducing that to the current culture that we have would just be like ridiculous. Can you imagine that? Just trying to hang out at a bar and then a bunch of 18-year-old kids walk in and just start getting... Housed. Oh man, they, my they were terrible. Like they used to babysit you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I was supposed to babysit you next week. <laughs> yeah, you're I just, a senior I just, in high school. I just said house, drink. and none of them would know what that means. But if you know, if we said crossfaded, they'd probably be like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Bro. totally. Yeah, you're talking about that. That though, uh, I don't know about you guys, but like, anytime I smoked, I I learned this the hard way that drinking and weed. Never worked. Like never mix. Like a friend of a friend told me this is like, oh, you got spins, and I'm like, what? Like you got spins. You get the spins when you when you drink and smoke the same. Like, and I was like, oh, that makes sense because that's exactly what happens. I keep on, like I can't sit still. I'm always like going to the right. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm wired. <laughs> I, can't, I, I really want to see that. I do too. Oh, it's bad. It's, and I turn pale. Just, like, I turn like ghost white too. It's, it's a good like, thing I laced his beer. Yeah. What? So did I. <laughs> oh great. Wait, you guys did that too? Yeah. Yeah, I um, 
I don't know. It just was never like my thing for that reason. It's like if I had to, if I always sounded like for me, if I saw one or the other, it was just like, I'll just drink. Yeah. One, because it's accessible. And two, I just felt it's more part of a culture. You do what we. you like. You do exactly. what you like. Yeah. You do what you like. Do what you like, you know? And also, let's talk about hookah bars for a minute. <laughs> they give you a Useless. lot of freaking hookah to smoke. Like, I remember I went to one or two ever, like, and I sit down, and I had, like, some puffs. And it's like, you know, that's, that, that's a different type of smoke, and you're inhaling. Yeah. And that Fills shit, up your entire body. That, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then if, like, like, two or three of them, like, okay, I'm done. And it's like, I barely even, like, yeah. used it. Like, yeah. you still have two hours of your hookah left. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like I'm getting, like, fucking buzzed off just vapor. That's not, yeah. even, like, That's not marijuana, though, right? No, it's, no, it's, no, just no. Yeah, it's just flavored tobacco. Yeah, flavored tobacco. Yeah. Uh, true story. Hookah lounges are still a thing in Kansas City. There's, like, six, 16 of them, like, in an immediate three-block radius and of where I live. people go to them. I, I don't know because okay. I don't go to them. What you, <laughs> that sounds like what a front you do for inside? something. That sounds yeah, like a front for something. Yeah, it's probably like a prostitution place. Yeah. Mm. Well, in that case, I'm going to just have to investigate <laughs> yeah. this. I feel like a hookah bar should have like a coffee shop attached with it or something like that. I think it's, I've seen it, ones with like video yeah, games. Something. Video games? Yeah. No, that'd be bad. <laughs> I've that'd seen be bad. it. You stink up all the games, maybe ruin some of the, the games itself. No, I don't think that's a good idea at all. <laughs> I just don't, 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 don't blame me. I don't, I don't know that you have any science place. to back what you just said. No, like smoke. Like <laughs> I'm pretty sure smoke damages. Yeah, it, yeah, it, right. Like it curls up paper, it turns it yellow, it fades it. You know, but that's more tobacco. Paper. Yeah, smoke. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Didn't you say video games? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I'm thinking about like the labels on video games and whatnot. Oh, uh, okay. And like in like the packaging that the video game came in. Sure. I don't know. I'm just I don't know. okay. Fine. That's where my <laughs> mind was. Going. I thought you were talking about like arcade game type. That would be sweet. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that's what I was. Picturing. Oh, like a, like a headquarters or something like that. Oh, that'd yeah, be like cool. a beer headquarters. Yeah, beer headquarters. Is that what you're talking about? No, uh, like actual video. Like games? they actually have like a couch and TV. Oh, like, okay. And, uh, well, yeah, that makes more sense. Because okay. like, like loungy. What, that's what I was getting at. Okay. Of the couches, yeah. but I was. That's why I didn't go there to the video game. Uh, that'd be interesting though. Arcade. I haven't been to one of those in a long time. The beer cades. Last one was with you with Treadway. Oh my god, that was, that was like three years ago. Yeah. My they god. changed headquarters. Changed right? Isn't it some? It's something else. Did Headqu- I think it's still the Lakeview location got bought out by yeah, something. It's still the same concept, I, I believe. Yeah, but it's something different. I think it's a great concept, though. Yeah, it really, I mean, is. it's a great it's, it's a great thing to bring two things together. Well, and we like went to do. in January to one with Steve for his birthday. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. No, January. You're yeah. right. You're right. Um, they had to make money selling that. That place was always busy. Headquarters. Yeah. That's smart. Well, well they have another. They have two locations though, didn't they? They do. Yeah. Yeah. Chicago, well, hey, everybody, go to headquarters. Check it out. Cause, just because they sold it doesn't mean it wasn't making money. That's Most of the games are free, I'm though. Business, right? the same. Yeah. I am hoping to do the same. Yeah. Oh, 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 hint, hint, hint. Anybody want to buy some smoothie places? <laughs> <laughs> I want a yacht. We can find a compromise. Aren't most of the games on those places free? Or no, maybe no, like a the headquarters is free. Mm-hmm. Okay. Emporium is not. You have you to, have buy, to tokens. buy the tokens. Yeah. Yeah. But see, there's, my, there's the conundrum. Emporium is also a beer cade in Chicago. Has better beer. Ah. Has better, way better selection of beer and taps. And taps, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. You have to pay for the video games. Or headquarters is just it's a, it's got it's not bad beer. It's it's okay, but all the games are free. So it's a little catch here. What do you want? Better beer, better games. Yeah, kind of right. stuff. I'm yeah. a grown ass man, so I want to go to the place. I'm about quality. I don't mind yeah. paying a little bit for my video games. I don't True. mind support right. it a little bit. I don't mind. We're at, at that all. point in our lives that we want just a little bit more. That's right. <laughs> That's right. A little bit more. A little bit more. Um, Kevin. Yes. Uh-oh. There's four men at this table. Which and he loves. I count three. Oh, one of us Whoa. is not a man. Whoa. <laughs> find out on the Patreon <laughs> yeah, exclusive. Part two. <laughs> the Patreon exclusive. I'll find out which one is not really a man. <laughs> That's the cool thing to do now. It's like, you know, I'm not yeah. really this. Um, <laughs> is uh, that cool? Is that, is that, I don't know. That's yeah. what the kids I, are doing now. Oh, yeah. Kids are like, transgenders is in, man. They're just like, cross-fading. Yeah, and, like, I'm really a woman. You're like, you have no idea, kids. Cross-dressing, cross-dressing fading. Sure. They Everything don't know. Crossed. They don't know. Um, so let's get back on track to the one man at this table who's engaged. Mm. Married and or engaged. Um, it's sucks. been a pretty wild ride. <laughs> Oh, you're not talking about it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, he's engaged to his job, damn it. <laughs> this movie Kansas City to his true, true calling, his true lover. True calling is also in the name of an IPA by Boulevard Brewing. <laughs> Tell me about Boulevard Brewing. <laughs> it's a beer me mid- He's a little rusty. He's a little rusty. <laughs> well, you caught me mid-sip. I didn't think you were going to ask about Boulevard Brewing. Well, yeah, we were talking about Kevin it. for a second. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Kevin. So you're the one who's switching gears here. Skip Kevin? I'm leading. The, I, take it away. If someone wants to lead the ship right now, 
Kevin, tell us all about what's happening in your life. It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta do it to Jeff. You gotta go down the chain. All right, we'll just keep that. That'll <laughs> be a thing in the show. It's yeah. just like Final Destination. It there skipped we over me and it went to you. And now right, it's gotta go to Jeff. Really rude. Before we get to Boulevard Brewing and more about Kansas City, because I wanted to talk about Kansas City. You wanna talk about, like, first off, you wanna talk about the life path to the topic or you wanna talk about catching up more on Kansas City? Because we haven't really talked about Kansas City yet. No, we can talk about Kansas City whenever. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What are you thinking? How long will it take you to catch up on Kansas City? Let's talk about Kansas City. I was. I want to know. Sure. I haven't talked to you. I, mean, I got about five minutes. Right, yeah. So we have, much information. We haven't done this yet. So Danny, you know, Danny left the show. I did. He left the show. Yeah. The show. Have you discussed with Danny how the ratings are sky high now? They're higher actually than higher. They've They're ever actually been. higher. Of course. <laughs> have you seen this face? Thanks, buddy. Thanks so much for your sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Um, nah, for real, though. It's called uh, addition by subtraction. <laughs> mm. Mm. Man. All right. Yeah. I think some people, Welcome back, Danny. Some people I've been waiting for don't this. know <laughs> about, like, you know, like, oh, you have, I have a lot of people who uh, watch the show. I don't really know and get to know this, you know, us a little bit through the show. So you left Kansas City for your job. Hopcat, check it out. Chicago, Kansas City, Detroit, et cetera, et cetera. How so? Let's do the the fast like the fast version of like moving to Chicago, Kansas City, where you are now, sort of thing. Because uh, you know you've been gone, you haven't it's been on the shows in true. five months, six months. Yeah, uh, I've been watching you guys make frequent editorial mistakes. It's all right. I correct them in my head and I send you guys texts. It's after easier the after the show. After the fact. Isn't it always funny when you watch Because you know the what? Fact? When I was watching you guys, I was like, nope, that's wrong. Exactly. Nope, that's oh, wrong. Oh, yeah, I do that. I do it. Yeah, I do it. Uh, uh, so that's been very entertaining. Um, no, Kansas City is great. It's really funny because I just get asked all the time, well, isn't that a huge change of pace? Uh, the answer is yes. It has been a huge change of pace. But uh, I was here for a really long time, so it was. It's, I'm fine with the change of pace. Uh, I can. That's simpl- what you wanted. You wanted that. I can simplify it down for you guys in three phrases. <laughs> it's they're friendly ass people. There's fantastic barbecue, and they have really solid beer there. Nice. That's all you really care about, right? It's like food, beer, and no one's a dick. Yeah. End of topic. <laughs> End of topic. Bartlett, how are you? Yeah. yeah exactly. I'm fine. I'm Kansas alive. City. <clears throat> He's still here. He's still here. <laughs> Um, but business is good. Business is good. No, we've been an incredibly busy store, which has been awesome. Uh, it's a huge place. Like I'm not used to running a behemoth of a restaurant like that, and it's is it big, uh, compared to Chicago? How big is it? Oh, it's like three times the size of Chicago. Oh, three, shit. Yeah. Three, three, three floors. You three said? floors, and Whoa. this is this is the coolest thing by far that we have going on. And I'm guess I'm not technically supposed to talk to it, but nobody in my corporate higher ups is watching this, so it's fine. Uh, we <laughs> not yet. They are. We have opened a tiki speakeasy in our basement. Oh, I did see the. the so picture. I have put up some pictures on my Instagram account. Um, it's the first one of its kind in Kansas City in about twenty years. Uh, it has been booked like solid through for like <laughs> we opened it last week and it's booked solid through for like the next three like weeks. reservations booked. Yep. Oh wow. Sweet. It's reservation only. We're not. We're like we are actively told not to talk about it unless people ask about it. Um, it literally. Are you talking easiest. about it on a podcast? There we go. <laughs> uh, it literally is uh, a whole different universe. And do you the, have to wear a, like a, a the bar skirt? The bartenders that work there are, uh, were handpicked. Uh, you know, out of our current staff, and I got to give it to them. The the work that they put into those drinks is unbelievable. Sure. It takes about ten minutes to get a cocktail. Uh, because Damn. they're so complex and they're so layered, it's a, so but it's like it's, three dots on a dash. Yeah, I was it's, gonna say that's it's, it's, it's it is yeah. it is some of the best cocktails I've ever had in my entire it's just life. There like a month ago, it's a great yeah. place. I love it. Yeah, that place is. Uh, that, uh, I've been to three dots on a dash. Have you been there? Two, two I have or not. Times. It's it's always packed. Yes, yeah, very. It's packed. It sounds very so, similar to what. So the beauty of it is, I was never interested in Lost Island or three dots on a dash because I was just kind of figured I. I'm a beer drinker. I don't really want any of these like sweet juice drinks. Um, mine completely changed now. I went down to Tiki Cat um, Tiki and Cat. Tiki Cat. And the, <laughs> the running joke at work is that I am the Tiki Cat because nobody actually knows what ethnicity I am. So, <laughs> Do you have a superhero costume for that? Like, I am yeah. the Tiki Cat. <laughs> I usually just take the, some of the... Uh, the what is it like Hawaiian masks, the Hawaiian masks and just like wear them around. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, my mine totally changed. I tried those drinks and I mean, yeah, they're a little bit sweet, but it's not like as much. It's nothing. It's all fresh. Mm-hmm. Like every ingredient, they hand juice everything. It's just crazy. So it doesn't taste all syrupy and right, exactly. sugary. Interesting. Yeah. They, right, make, yeah they, they make their own almond milk. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wow. Sweet. That's, that's yeah. Gosh, the lady would like that. Jennifer yeah. would love yeah. that. 
Like she would like that. Because so, she's not a big drinker. She's all about quality. The beautiful thing about it, too, is that unlike a Three Dots and a Dash or Lost Island, is that it's reservation only. So it hits a max amount of seats. And that's it. Nobody else. Three is, of us in. Nobody else is allowed in there uh, until the, the, you know they kick you out. You have like a two-hour time slot from your the start of your reservation. What about us? Or can you get us in? Uh, depends on when you guys are coming, but I can make us a reservation. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You should just be able to get us in. See, uh, wrong, yeah, answer. See, wrong yeah. answer. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. I don't, I don't really like that. <laughs> really yeah. rude. No. Hey, what if we go in disguise as uh, <laughs> you know? We're the entertainment for tonight. No <laughs> offense. <laughs> like the no offense, but uh, come on, guys. <laughs> you, you're nothing in Kansas City yet. Uh, <laughs> but I, I thought you were. To get Big deal, Kansas. <laughs> I am. Big deal, Kansas. But I'm probably working that night. Are all the drinks on the menu downstairs? Like, did you guys create those your own? Yes. Like, or did you take them? No, first? yeah. I mean, there's a lot of classics. Uh, a daiquiri, a Mai Tai, a painkiller, a uh, zombie. That's my dad's um, favorite drink, a zombie. But we had a man by the name of Martin Kate who literally wrote a book on tiki culture come in and help kind of hand design those uh, drinks with our bartenders. Oh, interesting. Nice. What about Which food? Is- no food. No food. No food. That's just cocktails. And dash is the, it's like the, I think the at most they have is like a couple like, like apps. bites. Yeah, it's that's like what it is. Small. That's all it very is. But I thought you had. Well, I don't know what the laws are there. We don't. Uh, we don't. Laws. We don't serve it's anything scary. from Hopcat in Tiki Cat. So even if you are at our bar upstairs with a beer in your hand, you can't take it into Tiki Cat. What? Wow. I'm gonna. Tr- I'm gonna challenge Kansas that. City. That's pretty yeah, sweet. I have to go there. We're gonna Kansas challenge City. it. Well, I got to check out the bear schedules out. Uh, oh yeah, bears out tonight. We Pretty brutal first half, and officially fourteen minutes. Oh, you saw the schedule? I, I heard I the, the I heard the first eight games. It was just pretty. Well, I pretty mean, brutal. no matter what, who but I, don't, I didn't see who what the home and away were. I just heard the teams. Mm. Yeah, the rumor has it that uh, our road trip will be uh, on Halloween is because New- they're playing New Orleans at Halloween. Oh, is New that Orleans when it's Halloween? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the rumor. I'm not. I wasn't really thrilled by that actually because. Oh, I love it. I don't because it's going to be crowded as fuck on Halloween there, and I'm like, yeah, that's going to be off weekend. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Well, I'd rather go on an off weekend when there's nothing like going on. It's or like, go oh, it's when like, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Go I mean, on I, get what, I get what you're saying, too. Expensive. Yeah. It's going true. haunted tours Better of experience. New Orleans. New Orleans. I've been in New Orleans one time. It was for a, a wedding, but I was, so it doesn't really count because I didn't get to explore too much of the city, but I did see a good chunk of it. And for that short period of time I was in New Orleans, one of the favorite cities I've ever been to. Did yeah. you guys know anybody that went through the Katrina catastrophe? I, no, I don't. No. I knew Drew Brees. One of my buddies. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I went to college with Drew Brees. That's going to say. Yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, one of my buddies was there. He went to Tulane. Uh, oh, shit. And he told the story. He, we were like little kids when he came home after because we all knew it was happening. Oh, shit. And we all sat down Indian style around him while he... How old were you? Oh, we were... I mean, no, I'm not, not about you. When whenever how old were we? Yeah. When, when, how many so years 2006 ago? 2006, was it? Uh, Seven, maybe? I so I've been around there because it was yeah it was probably around twelve years ago yeah post college he had to escape they blocked everyone Sounds off right. so you couldn't get out he had escaped to Texas yeah I want to say two thousand five um, yeah my dad always yeah, said because right. he's been there for football games pre Katrina and post and sadly to say he's like the best thing that ever happened to that town is Katrina because it turned it over like to a much better place yeah I've, and then a couple I've years later that. they won the Super Bowl they won it that year no they didn't I'm pretty they sure did not they won the year of Katrina no they won like two or three years after. I know for a fact. Fact check? You could fact. I'm, I thought they won it that year. No. Nope. No, nope. I, I actually, <clears throat> for once, I think Sports. I would agree with, I, I would agree with Blake. I seem <laughs> for to, once! What are you thinking? I seem to remember being at work. My girl, ex-girlfriend is fighting with a new that, girlfriend. At that time. <laughs> at that time. Just sit back and enjoy. At that time, I remember bartending at Tommy Nevins, and I remember everybody was pulling for them for that matter, but didn't they lose in like the second round of the playoffs? Yep, they lost. Yeah. Okay, it was 2005 was the hurricane. Where's the Amazon dot? Ah, uh, don't have it. Girlfriend has it still. I need to bring my intern here. I bought you that as your intern for Christmas. I know. And my girlfriend took it. <laughs> and then she stopped using it, so now I'm going to have them back on the show. I have a big list of things to change the show around. As you can sure. see from this new set. Um, Are you going to go gluten-free 2009? in future episodes? 2009, yeah. 2009. Oh. Feels good. Feels good. Oh. Yeah, I'm seeing 2009 is when they won. See, my ex-girlfriend had the past and the history. She, uh, she just, she gets me, you know. <laughs> so they, they were in the, they were yeah, in the playoffs. Never backing Blake yeah. again. 
Uh, thanks for the shirt, Danny. Interestingly <laughs> enough, the one time that I did back him, he was right. So there we go. That's that. <laughs> yeah, touche. Oh, man. Um, so Kansas City's treating you well then, Danny. Um, you're happy there. You got a good apartment. Um, the Watchtower. Work, obviously, the work's doing great and stuff like that. What about the city itself, like compared to Chicago? Oh, it's it's much smaller. Um, but, I mean, it's it's still an interesting place. You know, it's it's like not unlike when you move anywhere else. There's always new stuff to explore. Uh, the fun part about it is a lot of the people that I am working with there are also transplants. So... Mm. Uh, kind of as a group, we bonded and we kind of took advantage of uh, the status that was, you know, in front of us where it's just like, oh, you're the new kids in town and oh, you're going to be carrying an unseen amount of beer, like an unbelievable <laughs> amount of beer. So yeah, let's invite you into our doors. Uh, so we got to tour a ton of the local breweries. Um, we, got awesome. to t- we got to tour a ton of the local distilleries. I have, you know, I've kind of explored the neighborhood that I work in Westport to the point where I have made some friends at other bars there. So like I have a local hole in the wall called Dave's. Uh, oh, you got to find their hole in the wall. Bar. Those are the best. It's yeah. I Back mean, in the day the, it was red door. This guy bartending. The first, the first time that I walked in, it was just like pitch dark. They were blasting ELO. It smelled oh, nice. musty and stale and the best high life. And by best, I mean, coldest high life you can find in Kansas city. <laughs> and so I have become friends with two of the bartenders there named Jeff and Jake. Like I hang out Jeff with them. Jake. I hang out with them when we all have days off together. So uh, Jake plays in a darts league. So we went and threw darts before his league started up like two weeks ago. It was awesome. Oh, good. I'm glad you're adjusting well there. Hey. Speaking of ELO, Gardens of the Galaxy 2 soundtrack gets released tomorrow. And the first yes. song is ELO. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Very excited. Jeff and I are going to opening night. We're excited. Yeah. If you were in town, of course, you'd be joining us. If you were in town, you might be joining us. When, when is that? When is it? May 4th. A Thursday. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. Yeah. Be with you. Oh, okay. So you can find an extra ticket. Yeah. You want to go? Think about it. Think about Think it. Think about it. No, we're not, it might, it no might, pressure not, on this show. It might I feel be too like much there's else. a lot of pressure on that movie. There a is a lot. Of, but you yeah. know what? Advanced screenings came out. It's, it's like dominating right now. Really? The advanced yeah. screening is like, it's doing incredibly well. It got I mean, way thing. better ratings than the first one in the yeah. advanced screenings. In the advanced screenings, yeah. It's doing... Very. Well. I feel like that's a movie where people have just been super amped, finally I'm, waiting for a sequel to I, come out. It's very dangerous what I say here because of the dork community, but I feel that Guardians is our Star Wars, is the new Star Wars now. All this other I Star Wars so. stuff is not Star Wars. It's like trying to be Star Wars. What I mean by that is like this Guardian stuff is like, it's new. It's fresh. It hasn't yeah. been done. It's a new thing. Yeah. Well, like Star Wars, all of this stuff now is just trying to live on to the past. And like that's why I feel yeah. like Gardens is our new Star Wars. A, a ragtag group of rebels that is fighting to uh, their own private fight to save the galaxy. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it's our new. It's like the new Star Having Wars. Having said that, still can't wait to see Luke Skywalker just destroy everything. It's going to be amazing. Speaking if of that happens, Chris Pratt, have you? Do you guys follow him on Instagram? Well, at it's all? my snack. Oh my god, have you been yeah. watching that? It's the best. What is that? No, I do follow him, but I he does that. these videos called "What's My Snack" <laughs> because they have him meal prepping. Right for every movie he's in, he's on a super strict diet because sure. he's got to stay in shape. And he does, <laughs> so his, his snacks are like going. one almond. <laughs> yeah. And he so, cuts it with like a knife and fork or whatever, yeah. and he's just like, "What's my snack?" And he does like a song with it. It's just and, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> the I've not seen the, the, the yeah. whole the whole crew of Jurassic World two yeah. actually made him and all of them like his team uh, t shirts that said hashtag What's my snack? That's great. And it's so he so comes good. out he comes out with these videos that he just shoots like on his own phone. And like he had one, did you see the one where it was like a banana walnut muffin? And he's like, I'm supposed oh, yeah. to save this for tomorrow. And yeah. he's like, he saved like a morsel of it and <laughs> closed it back up. He's like, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> or like he'll devour something super fast. He's like, Aww. and then he's just, he's like, well, it's my snack. And it, oh, it's just So hilarious. like when he's like, because his diet's so strict, I mean, obviously he's making a joke of what he yeah, can snack. Because exactly. like, obviously if you're getting in shape, you should be eating a lot, but healthy. Right. That's what I was gonna ask. Like, I, I'm I'm curious if he's trying to lose weight from like a, for another part. But oh. I, I think it's I think it's for Jurassic World. I can't see why he wants to lose more weight. But I mean, he's he's on a very strict diet. Whatever he's doing. Right What's now. my snack? It's, maybe it's maybe he was a little too jacked from Guardians. That's very true. That's happened yeah. to Christian Bale. Remember that happened. He got too jacked up for Batman. Yeah. Remember he went from the Machinist. Yeah, to Batman. It was like yeah. a 150 insane. pound difference. And then when he yeah. got to the set of Batman, Nolan looked at him. He's like, "You're too big." You're yeah. way too big. That ha- same thing happened to Hemsworth. He got too big for his suit. Is that right? Yeah. For what? The, what, the first movie? Uh, I think no, it was second. for Age, Age of Ultron. He was too big for his armor. Like he got too big, and then they were like, "You got to lose weight because we can't refit your armor. It's, awesome. it's too late in the game to do that." <laughs> I gotta give you props, Danny. This whole time, 
You've like known like it was like embedding you with the microphone rule. Like you like every time you talk here, you moved in and talk. I, I, like you have to understand. You've been gone for a while. No, Jeff. True. Not, 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 no, you're great. But I'm talking about guests who have to always like remind guests. Aren't I the I, current girlfriend? I saw. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. And Barlett, you're getting weird. Barlett, you're doing shitty, by the way. I, s- I saw you do this to Grant <laughs> last week. <laughs> oh, uh, Garrett. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he was like starting to do his thing. I'm like, here you go, buddy. I have to do that though once in a while. But uh, I've been up here. I know. I'm just fucking with you. Because the first time I did it, I, yeah. I got a so gotta, if I, gotta, I give I gotta, an insult, talk. I get shit. If yeah. I give a compliment, I give shit. Yeah. Okay. And he makes you feel so bad. Yeah. He's just oh, like, I never wanted like, to come you back. You need to talk I into cried this. all night. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag guest host. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> what's my snack? What's who's I'm my host? Who's my host? I'm trying to look up Chris Pratt yeah, right now. That's a good one. Which, hashtag, who's my host? Um, <laughs> glad you're back on, and I'm glad you're enjoying Kansas City. Uh, it's been good. back in is for family, if you were wondering why Dan's... No, it's sure. really to do the show. No, he That's it. I literally just... I'm flying out tomorrow. <laughs> came, came out for yeah, one show. for one episode. Yep. We're going to do one song we and one well. song only. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kevin, we are like uh, started uh, on this. So, you are the only one of us three... Who are engaged or is currently going to be married. Yep. That makes sense. Um, yep. So you have a lot of work to do. As I, as, I, as I understand. <laughs> sucks. You know, I do, <laughs> but she has more work than me. Okay. And I think. And by that, I mean she's doing everything. You no. Know, is that like. <laughs> Which I guess that's is common, thing. though, right? I mean. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I felt bad for a little bit. No, no, I don't. <laughs> well, you're. You might be forking out more of the cash, but yes, yes. And we been, we were hot, uh, luckily both parents are are chipping in. Oh, sweet. So, well, when when we find this out, I'm like, oh, sweet. This isn't going to cost me anything. But they're just they're paying for the venue, and the food, and then that's it. So all the other stuff has been like piling mm-hmm. up and piling up. I'm like, uh, um, this this isn't. This, it this gets not. to the point too that. Almost everything that you sign or buy or do, it's a thousand bucks. Right. Like, yeah. Can we, it's always, on Can we drop this about you on there? Is it cool? Oh, I don't okay. care. So Jeff has been married before. Yes. I wasn't sure if we would reveal like no more people. ring. Yeah, <laughs> no more. So Jeff is chiming in because he's had experience yeah. with this before. Bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Can't live Bitch with them. Can't live without them. <laughs> no, my favorite one of that is women. Can't live with them. Past the beer nuts. <laughs> 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 also, when was the last time anybody had beer nuts? It's been oh, a while. Yeah. It's been quite a while. I was, I think I've had down that one time at a bar, and you're like, "You're the beer nuts." I'm like, Whoa, hey, yeah. cowboy! Um, Not sure so, I've ever had that at a bar. Yeah, really? yeah. yeah, I don't think so. You should have it at your wedding. Ooh, yes. beer nuts. <laughs> that beer nuts. Your contribution <laughs> to the wedding. Beer nuts. Everybody. Yeah, I have a it feeling that beer nuts. Is your wedding gonna have an open bar? The the goalie. What is your bear, is your uh, wedding gonna have an open bar? Of course. No, I didn't mean the reception. I meant your wedding is gonna have an open bar. Oh yeah. You know when yeah. you go, it's in the a church. Catholic. It'll yeah. be in the Catholic Church. They're gonna have to uh, re up so the red wine order. Catholics yeah. drink like oh, crazy. Yeah. Are you kidding me? The Irish and the Polish. Are you yes. kidding me? Sure. We'll yeah. have a server walking around at the <laughs> wedding. Smart, smart, <laughs> right? Uh, so you're getting married in September. Lots of blood of Christ. It's exciting, right? It's exciting, right? It's a good thing. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that sounds about exciting. I'm excited if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, I know. There's always like the the planning and the work and. You know, and I always feel that weddings are more for everyone else and not you. Yeah, it's like you're doing, you're spending thousands of dollars for everyone else. Yeah, like and it's all the time and, and effort, and, and it's, it's like, at a bad time too. I got a lot of stuff going on at the same time, so, so it's, it's sure. very inconvenient. I, while we're talking here. about this, uh, the suit thing and the tie in pocket square, mm-hmm. I'm going to admit that I haven't wore, re, re, I haven't read the tie in pocket square email. Andy, I put money down in Vegas that you have not read anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got I got the email about the gray suit. So but did you read it? Yes, no. uh, I didn't read your bachelor party what, email. What I want to know Sorry. is. Are I was we, trying are to we do going, length we, in one rather than <laughs> multiple small ones. <laughs> are we going with uniform? Would you prefer like a one, lo- which you could take as much time as you want to read, or like, like 10 dr- emails flying through? Uh, I needed to get a drink, light a candle, and just sure. sit back well, and read it. I, in the hot tub. That's yeah. what I was envisioning. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to go with uniform shoes, or am I allowed to wear Yeezy's newest boots? Um, I don't know what that means, but uh, <laughs> boots are, I don't know. But yeah, no uniform shoes. Where are you getting okay. married? Yeezy's boots or Kanye shoe not, like, line specifically, but where? Like, what's like state? Are you? Like, oh, here. Oh, you get married. Yeah, yeah. In the suburbs. Yeah, the, uh, the church I think is in Midlothian. I think. What the hell is that? I One don't of know, the most weird. haunted towns in Illinois. Uh, but the what? Like the reception's in Frankfurt. 
Oh, okay. 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 It's by the hotels by Tinley Park, by the, yep. like yep. the what world cr- or whatever. I'm going to totally crash your wedding. I think I'm about doing okay. it. Like, yeah, I think you'll be fine. I know you'd be totally cool with it. Yes. So, yeah. You want to yeah. crash it? It's oh, called, gonna, it's at, it's totally called CD and Me. Is the CD and Me. I love is the it. Venue. The venue is cool. It's like, cool. Don't worry shit. about us. We're not here to eat. We're just here in the background supporting a friend. We're have tear up that dance floor. Oh, yeah. You know that I You know that I will not care. I know. Actually, you would probably encourage it. Yes. In fact, yes. Just come on. Come on over. Oh, bring bring so the funny. camera. That's on Lagrange Road. And it. one of these microphones. Yeah, oh, yeah. I like. We'll just like sit at a table that when people. Oh, can we shoot like, we'll a podcast food. from the wedding? <laughs> it's just <Yeah>. really fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this kind of like it's a very broad topic because we're talking about weddings. And you have your bachelor party coming up in July. Um, I guess that's where a good place to just take it away about bachelor parties. Why do we have them? Do we like them? Some crazy stories about bachelor parties because you have a cool. I really, I, I, I generally, I honestly mean this that I really like your idea that you're mm-hmm. going to an away game for a Cubs, Cubs away game, not too far away. You rented a suite. You're going big at that. Going big, but trying to keep it reasonable. Exactly. You got cost in mind the whole time. It's, exactly. And I like that. I like the, you know, we got a Cubs game, uh, going to a different city, not too far away. And this Quick is nine holes of golf. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I like that. I, I really do. I um, read the email because I've been some like really. You did, you did read the email. Read there. He's got. He's got a quick game of nine holes of golf on Saturday morning. Can I just drive the cart, man? Boop, boop. I just want to drive <laughs> yeah. the cart. Uh, I, 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 I hook to the wait. Which way is hooking? To the left or right? Hooking or to the left. left. To the left is That's a, a slice to the yeah. right. S- slice. So I slice it like a madman. Got it. My, my ball. Well, the thing like is, I broke mine up to where you could come and go at different parts. Yeah. So like you don't have to be. You don't have to golf. Right. You can come that up actually, after I golf. did read. I did read that part. Yeah. I did. I was just like, the Cubs game was the most interesting. I mean, part. that's the whole point. Some people, not a lot. I think there are a couple of people that are going to do the Cubs game and then leave. Yeah. Okay. Um, I figured that. But I don't know. I mean, people are going to be pretty drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a night game. Like six, six, yeah, and we have the Ooh, yeah. we have uh, I think we have a party bus picking us up at nine thirty from Sweet. the stadium. So why twenty do we bucks ha- for the parking? Why bus. do we have party bachelor bus. parties? Nothing. Like why? Like is it like I mean think about this? Like I mean we could do history right now. And yeah, like, the bachelor party on Wikipedia and the history <laughs> of bullshit on that. Like, like do you It'd be feel, a drunken history episode? Do you feel like you want to do it? Do you feel like it's something that we just do because of a, in culture or history or things you've done to? You know what I'm saying? Like do you feel if you don't do one, there's pressure or. Like why, or and then this goes the same for bachelorette parties too. It's it's the same thing. Um, it's just like, yeah, it's a fun. It's all about getting together and stuff like that. But do you feel like? Do you honestly feel like you're Belt. gonna be up? You're like, this is my last day of bachelorette. Well, right. It's you not know, like, it's like because not really. you don't really do anything that you you wouldn't do. Like even if you go to a strip club, it's not like this is the last time I'll ever go to a strip club. Because if I go to another bachelor party, I'm gonna go to probably go to a strip club. I, yeah, pretty much. Right. So. It is, you're not like going and, and, out, and it's like not like you're gonna be like fucking a prostitute. Exactly. You know? it's like, like so you're not doing anything. That <laughs> like <a> joke. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about my bachelor party. He might be. Except I mean, except for that one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, oh, that's a good point. I mean, I, I think I think it's kind of like a going away party, in a sense. You know what I mean? Because everything that you're gonna do that day is stuff that you're gonna do again. You know, golfing, baseball game, but not bar, but not single. But not, but not with this hunk of metal on your finger. Exactly. Right, it's gonna yes. screw up your golf swing. Honestly, I, th- I feel like it's more symbolic than anything, right? Exactly. It's, it's just like it is. It, it, it's basically uh, this is this is just the last stand of single Danny before Danny gets married uh, for whenever that happens. But it's an official like, lack of a better word, going better, away. like last party before. I'm busy the day that you're having your bachelor party. <laughs> <just letting you know. laughs> so here's an important question: Is she having her bachelorette party the same weekend? Ooh, um, why is this an important question? Ooh, because of. We'll find out. We'll find out. Wait. No. No. Okay. Now. Well, why? no. T- not as that we could know. A little bit of boredom and jealousy. So if he's gone and she's just sitting at home doing nothing, all she's thinking of, oh, he's yeah. got strip clubs. He's got. He is putting a dildo in yep. her mouth right now. Yep. I know he's doing that. Yep. Boobies in his face. And so she's going to sit at home and just be like super jealous. Yep. And vice versa. That's exactly. She, what we and got. she's probably already jealous mm-hmm. now. And vice versa, if, if she's, she's out. on a Brew With You podcast, yeah, she's jealous right now. <laughs> You're probably going to sit at home or probably call us up and go out for a beer because you want to get your mind off of it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So, 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 luckily, luckily so she's though, already a little jealous. Yeah. I mean, she, yeah, yeah. she's jealous the second it's she a, wakes it, up every day. And that's why, it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's really good to have it on the same weekend because you both just kind of like forget yes, about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're like with your people. Exactly. I, I mean, uh, I really like what you say. I like, I love that idea. It's just like the, it's the guy thing, you know. It's not like a couple. And it's also something to do. It's not, uh, you know, we're not we're not 22 anymore. No. It's not just let's go out to the bars at 9 a.m. and just like power through. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> we will still. I mean, the, the last Sunday. What? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> We'll still be we'll still be having some cocktails, but of course. Sure. I mean, it, we're I actually mean, like doing something. Like, it's a good thing. Worst case scenario, you get shit faced at your bachelor party. Like, so what? It's your bachelor party. Yeah. It's oh, just yeah. a matter of like I'll there's the a first finale one. leads into the other things, like about <laughs> you know, strip clubs and, and and strippers coming to the place and so like that's where it yep. gets guns, cocaine. It just goes downhill yeah. Yeah. real fast. Right. Right. That's at every bachelor party. Guns, uh, send okay. lawyers, <laughs> send lawyers, guns and money. Mm. <laughs> right, right, right. That's a good thing to have it in your in your early thirties, though, because you're probably going to cap off the night with like an old fashioned or some yes. kind of sweet cocktail, yes. and a cigar. Where you're 22, 23, you're going to cap off the night at three in the morning with some old style. Yeah. Yes. So like you, you're, we're at that more mature age yes. that you're probably going to be capping off that it's night. It's a with better like, drunk, yes, and that's why you drunk. don't get married in your twenties, people. Yeah, don't okay? do it. Just Stupid. enjoy your 20s, fucking live, and then get married when you're in your There's 30s. No timetable. Or, or don't get married. Or don't get married. <laughs> Come you for don't have you to get married. <laughs> that, is a, that is a social pressure that people it is. think it really they, is. they have to. You know, not everyone yeah. does. By not 28 years old, you have to have two and a half kids and yeah. a dog and if a white you don't, You're a failure. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know what my bachelor party is going to be like. Oh, wait, what are you looking like? <laughs> my, my picket fence is not going to be white. What's it going to be? It's going to just be stained wood. Stained wood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good color, too. I like that. I like the stained wood. It's like yeah. authentic. Yeah. It's like, yeah. uh, it's not that I'm lazy that I didn't paint my fence white. It's just, that's what's in right now, bitches. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's reclaimed, all right? It's yeah. reclaimed wood. It's yeah. about real. It's what underneath the paint. Okay. For my bachelor party, which I'm not getting married anytime soon, I think I'd do a very similar thing with you. Um, I probably, what I would like to do is combine what we normally do is our, our away game to a bears and like, Make that bachelor yeah. party. Yeah. Know? I think that'd be fun. Um, I don't know. I'm not, and I don't, again, like this is the same thing with weed where, no, hear me <laughs> out. Hear me out. Okay. Sure. Like the same thing. Like, I'm, not a, I'm, not, I'm not a strip club fan. I don't like strip clubs. Um, and, but I don't care if we have them or if people go to them for their brothers. But I, that's not what I would want to do on my bachelor yeah. party. Uh, I just, I don't. That's I, not even. I just a, don't, get, uh, I don't, I don't get them. That's not even a guaranteed thing on mine. I, again, there's a lot. I mean, there's 30 some people going. If, Even if, if happens, 20 so of what? the 30 are like, let's go there, I'll say whatever, let's go. go. Forward, if, yeah. if no one wants you, I have no problem. But see, going. like, that's you, and that's, like, awesome. If you go there, there you go. And for, it's like, it's, it's mine, and you're, the bachelor's supposed to call the shots. Like, it's my bachelor party. This is yeah. what I want to do, yeah. and I'll just do what I want to do, you know? Yeah. Um, I would I just go shit, play dude. poker like, all night. Oh, <laughs> dude, that would be a great... Speaking of, we got a non- non-stop poker casino. Now. Oh, yeah. We yeah. should, we should yeah. have I've got the edge again. Yeah, we should do it in May. We should yeah. do it in May. Yes. yes. There you go. Yeah. When do you, um, when do you not have that itch? Mm, that's a good point. I always have the itch because <laughs> yes. I don't play anymore. We played twice in two years. So yeah. it's like that itch is always going like, I want to play some cards. I want to play some cards. And it's just, I don't sure. want to play enough. Well, when you, you get, get married, Steven, when you get married that's going to that's gonna be why oh, you have that bachelor good. party. You're going to be like, man. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get out and get drunk with the boys. Gotta get out and get drunk with the boys. Yeah. Is there any good casinos up in Milwaukee? I have Milwaukee? no idea. I just. <laughs> uh, I think it's is it Potawatomi? Oh, okay. Um, I think is the there's not. Yeah. I think there might only be one. I think your day. I like casinos for a uh, bachelor. Yeah, party I think too. your I like day casino. like is awesome. Like it's perfect because I played nine holes of golf on my day and like I think just the golf, the baseball game, and just having some whatever drinks after, and whatever yeah. and like, yeah. cards. Cards, casino. I'm bringing yeah. some cards. For Whatever happens, party. it's like the perfect day yeah, for me, too. Me, yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think the other thing, too, I would throw in there, it, it, oh, this is a big depends, is I would like to have like a really crazy place to eat. Like, not like by crazy, I mean like I've never been before or like you go to this one city yeah. and they're known for like the biggest pizza in the world. Like, we're getting that fucking pizza. Right. Yeah. We're going to do what we yeah. can. You know, yep. like, I want to do something yes. like that. It doesn't you know? have to be a $150 steak. It's just whatever's... Like, like what's, what's, the, what's well, the, what the place uh, is known for? Before yeah. the game, we'll be going to this place. It's the Brat House. Yeah. Before the game, and yeah. they have a shuttle from there to the game. Well, doesn't Milwaukee do the wiener races at the, beta, the, beta, the yeah. yeah, they do like the, yeah. the brat races. Yeah, right? yeah, that's great. Yep, they're known for brats out there. Yeah, yep. I love it. The beer brats. brats. So is there Paps gonna be like a ten pound brat yeah. or something? The, they they turn like, the old Paps Brewery into a hotel. Oh, oh sweet. but yeah. it's sold it's sold out for the weekend. Oh, and it would have been like stupid, ridiculous. Really? Yeah. It's Paps already hotel? Ex- it's already expi- every yeah I don't know what's, I right. mean the Cubs are in town but I don't know what else is going on because that weekend Cubs. is like 
With it, after the win, winning the World the Series, winners. man, it's like everything Cubs now is just gone. Last out. year and the year before that. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they made playoffs. Jeff's a Sox yeah, fan. That is something and, that you guys have Kevin's only done what, one fan. time since the World Series. Twice. Danny and I just like watching. Twi- since the World Series? Well, also, you got to imagine if the Cubs are going to be in town. That, again, that's a short, short uh, trip. Okay. So it's sure? just like, of course, I everybody from Chicago one. is going to. Sure. What year are you You guys thinking? are just going to be running into Chicago people. I thought it was this is the real conversation. Was it the year right after? Or was I'm going to really, seven. really All try right. to figure out some somehow to make one. it out we'll to one of these we'll bachelor parties. We've got two conversations going on at the same time. Yeah. I've, never saw, I've never done them before. We're fighting. Yeah? Well, you got Sox and Cubs. What do you expect? You yeah. not wearing, at least we can all agree that uh, the Hawks are a big disappointment right now in yeah. the playoffs. Jesus. Yeah, they're that playing. Sucks. All they're playing right now. And we got to yeah, right wrap this up soon. Who are they playing? Playing Nashville. Ah, uh, the Predators. I got it taped. I'm not, yeah. I'm not worried about uh, it. Ah, DVR. It's early. Um, Would you say you're catching a predator game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Danny, uh, we never talked about this. You know, I've known you for a while. Catch predator hockey game. <laughs> he's got it. At least he's picking up on these little things afterwards. That's a golf clap for all your master's talk. Oh, that was Usually good. I just tone it out, and then I'm like, I didn't tone that one out completely. And it get yeah, This is why the ratings were low when you were on the show. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, it depends cow. on the demographic. Right. The, predator, <laughs> the predators loved it. Yeah. Love you. Sorry that I'm bringing the humor back, guys. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Danny, what would you do for your possible uh, bachelor party if you had one? Um, see, I... I I would actually kind of like a destination bachelor party as well. That's why I really love the idea of Kevin going to Milwaukee because it's destination, but it's also close. But it's close, yeah. But if I had the means to do it and it wouldn't be something that would be on you guys where I could be like, hey, motherfuckers, you just need some money to spend. I'm going to pay for everyone's plane tickets. Vegas. I would love, not even Vegas. I would love to do something like <laughs> European or oh, South American. shit. I'd be like, let's let's you're let's go to pay, let's go to Cuba. To get there? Let's I'm go to in. Cuba. Don't want to go to Cuba. Get some real Cubans. Yeah. Man, I would go. No, to I Cuba said if I had sure. the means to do it. Like if I had the means to do it, I would want to do something like that. I think that's an interesting point, though, Danny. Like I think it depends on the degree of the friendship too. Like if you had a if you had a bachelor party in Cuba or Europe, I'm like, hell, well, I'm going. It's you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but there's like a lot a of bachelor party in Michigan. <laughs> Danny's not going. <laughs> <laughs> That's TBD. That is TBD. Are you going to Wisconsin? No, that's for that. That's for the big one. Oh, yeah. my bad. Which also he's not going to. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> can't make both. Come on, man. <laughs> Unless you want to pay for it. Man, I really wish I could have played this out. I was going to trick Danny. I knew that he wasn't able to come, but he hadn't told me yet. He didn't know that I knew. Ooh. Yeah. And then I told him right away when he got here. Yeah. Before we even got on camera. Oh, oh that's plan. funny. Yeah. Jeff, why did you decide for your bachelor party that you stuck around in Chicago? You know, if I if I could redo it, I would go destination. Okay. Just one of the best ones that I've ever been to was St. Louis, actually. And, like, a big group of us, like, went down, like, 20, 25 of us went down to St. Louis Oof. and just kind of, like, tore up that town. Went to just a bunch of bars. We did the brew tours and all that kind of stuff. And just in, I would have loved to go tear that. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I did, like, the golf. Yeah, I mean, it was fantastic. So I think you're going to have an awesome time in Milwaukee. It's, it's a similar town. Well, I could say in terms of like, I wonder what the size. Except Kevin loves, is Kevin loves St. Better, Louis. Way better than St. Louis. I hate St. Louis. Kevin, huge, St. Louis. Kevin, huge fan of Missouri in general. Just, well, is it because the Cubs? Voted the, the 50th worst state <laughs> or the first worst state. How would you say that? 50th? The 51st worst state. 51st. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, would you say the first worst or the... 51st worst. Either way, Missouri is not my favorite. It's the worst. <laughs> the worst. The worst. The worst. We'll just say that. <laughs> Make it easy. Um, to answer your original question, uh, <laughs> I think I was just probably, I mean, I, I wanted to golf and I wanted to just bar hop and kind of do whatever. I think I was probably just too still young and naive of like what I wanted to do. Mm. If I was now going to do it, I'd probably do something destination. What did you do? We played nine holes of golf in the afternoon. We got a hotel. Did a big dinner out, and then bar hopped, and then strip club, and then bar hopped again. That's pretty much summed up the night. Yeah, I was with you for half the time, I remember. Yeah, because you didn't golf. No, I was with you like all throughout Chicago. You met us at dinner. Yeah, I met you at dinner, and then we went bar hopping with you, and then I left at like 2 a.m. or something like that. Um, 
So it was typical, just golf, yeah. bar, yeah. dinner, strip club, dinner, or, you know, drinks and stuff like that. But if I'd redo, if I could redo it, I would probably wouldn't even do like as many people. Like I wouldn't do like thirty people. I'd probably get like my closest like five people yeah. and do some like big event destination like a Cuba or like a all inclusive Mexico for like four or five days or Vegas for four or five days, but only like yeah. with like five of my closest. I, I feel like yeah. there's a part of me. I've never been to Vegas. And there's a part of me, it's like, I've never been to Vegas, and it's my bachelor party. I think I'd want to go to Vegas. But at the same time, like, my thing about Vegas is this. Like, if I go to Vegas, it's going to be hard for me to say no to things. That's the Vegas. best. You know that's what I mean? the best. Like, that, yeah. word, that word does not exist. Yeah. It does not exist. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. But did you do that for a bachelor party? Hell yeah. Sure. Yes. I don't Ooh. think there's any other. The, there's no better time. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's I mean, no excuse. Yeah, I, the only time I've I've laid over uh, at the airport at Vegas and they had the slot machines there yeah. in the airport, so I was playing some slots while I was waiting. That is that has ended some trips in a good way and in a bad way. Yeah, <laughs> I missed. I mean, I like the casino. Agreed though. with that. Yeah, the airport can send you off in a good mood or a bad mood. One like in the airport. You know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I mean, I have. So. That's what I'm saying. You could have a horrible trip and that could cheer you up right at the end. Yep. Yeah. Or vice versa. Mm. Or you could I've be coming both. out of New York super hungover and have to sit in LaGuardia. And that is, that'll just ruin that'll ruin your no, life. No, I just don't. Yeah. I don't want to do was that, that from Europe when you? Uh, no, that was for Caleb's thirtieth. We went to New York for like three oh, nights. That's right. And all of us were just a train wreck in LaGuardia waiting oh. for flights. LaGuardia is a depressing airport. Oh, it's like, horrible. It's, it's yeah. bad. I mean, I, all my family's in Northern Jersey, so I fly to Newark. Yeah. It's a very easy airport. It's 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 old, but it's it's not it's it's a very middle ground airport. Does it's not job. bad. It does its job. It's not great. It's not bad. It's like it's, it sounds like KCI. Yeah. It's yeah. it's just it's there. Uh, but JFK, LaGuardia, the other like New York airports, like oof. brutal, oof. Yeah. brutal, oof. And that's saying we were just talking about that before. I mean, I'm a Southwest guy. I'll always like, yeah, put that up front. So I'm always flying out of Midway in Chicago, and I like Midway. I like it a lot. It's a big. It's a big airport. But it, it always gets it's international because of O'Hare. O'Hare, yeah. So can I share this with you guys real quick? Um, just. Because I flew into Midway today, and there's a Gold Coast Dogs right in the food court. And I had that brief thought because I really wanted a Chicago style dogs. Hot dog stands do not exist in K- uh, Kansas City. They don't. Ouch. So I really wanted a Chicago style dog, but I was kind of like worried about timing. So I was just like, no, I'll just make my way over to Blake's Neck of the Woods. I'll figure out where to eat somewhere there. <laughs> I ended up at this place like around the corner from where you live. And I won't say the name of it. You know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, but. Let's just say that the hot dogs were worth every penny of the whole $2 that I paid for them. <laughs> oh. um, not a great experience. And I, it's just going to make Portillo's was all that it, much better. Was it a gas station? Almost. Um, but this was, <laughs> this was the funny thing. So I'm waiting on all of you guys to arrive. I got here a little earlier than planned. And I guess one of the local schools had let out. Mm-hmm. So like, there's all these kids in like, uniforms around. And I had my tray. Like I was sitting at a table. I was getting ready to go. My tray was already pushed to the side. And I had napkins on the plate. This little fat kid walks up to me and he's like, you can eat those fries. <laughs> <laughs> what a split. And I, I just about lost my shit. Please and tell me you gave him some. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, took, I took the napkins off the plate and I just handed it to him. And I was like, they're, they're all yours if you oh, want to buy You earned it, buddy. And his, his friends were <laughs> yeah, just like great. dying. His friends were dying laughing. And I was just like, well... I don't care how shitty those hot dogs were. That experience was completely worth oh, it. The little you, fat kid asking me if I'm going to finish nice. my fries. I was just like, and you just contributed yeah. to his childhood obesity. obesity Do you yeah. think it was a dare? Nothing oh. like getting a hot dog at a taco joint. No, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't because he turned around with the plate in his hand and his friends started cracking up. And he's like, he said he wasn't going to eat them. <laughs> that's so oh. funny. I wonder if like, yeah, that's so great. It was a double dare. <laughs> dare my fries now. You ain't in Kansas City no yeah. more. <laughs> and that, on top of that, I had some overly eager dude to just say he was like standing this close to me waiting for me to get off the table i was like all right can you just let me get my suitcase and get oh, off God. me i uh i haven't had a chicago dog in quite a while like, i want a said, real like, i want a real one it's like those things like when you're in a city that you run live it in, through you the garden you don't do you don't the touristy with, things it's yeah. like yeah, i don't do this you know i'm like actually, no, right. yeah you're right um, yeah. i miss chicago dog it's been a while I haven't had Portillo's in years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's but a it's, shame, it's man. just one of those funny things because it came up in conversation, and it was just like I was asking some of the locals. I was like, "Do you guys have do hot dog stands exist here?" And they're like, "You really can't find a good hot dog here." And I was like, "Well, shit, I know what I'm doing next Damn. time I go home." Man, they, I think Kansas City should have like barbecue stands instead of hot dog stands, like you know, like like just like do they throw ribs on a. 
Not uh, there are some well, food it's trucks. It's a lot harder to do than a hot dog. But. There there are some food details, trucks, details. but I mean yeah. I mean it's restaurants. There's there's like know. six or seven like mainstay restaurants that are there in KCMO that uh, that are known for barbecue. That's it. Uh, I mean, there's barbecue places all over. All over, it, but, but those are those like, are like the six big ones that like you have to eat at those. Mm-hmm. I thinking of all the stands like. I notice that as I'm getting older, I get less food off stands. Like it's not like Portland when you have your like your food trucks, you know, like mm-hmm. they're known for the right. food trucks that yeah. thing. But I'm talking about like the hot dog stand, the ice cream like, yeah. like push car guys. Haven't gotten food from that um, you know, genre in a while. Yeah. Uh, the stand food. Not the truck food, which truck food is really good, by the way. I love like Do you ever the, see the tamale guy that comes in? Yeah. Oh, I love the tamale guy. Yeah. yeah. So that's funny. the only thing that I've gotten from in I mean Chicago, that's not a stand. In Chicago Mike. there's a guy who delivers tamales that like all the uh, bars that allow him to come in like late awesome. at night. And basically true places story. that don't sell food. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. Yeah. Like Time Out Chicago, I think it was made a list of like the top 50 best restaurants, like places to eat. And one of them was the tamale guy. That's awesome. And I was awesome. like, that is awesome. That is, I didn't know guy. that. That's great. He totally got a job. And I'm like talking, this guy goes from like Lincoln Park, the South yeah. Loop to up North. I'm like, this guy fucking travels. Yeah. Like, he, he works for those tamales. He yeah. works for his money. That's for sure. I mean, I, yeah. and it really, Have you done them? Have yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Uh, we did them once actually. I'm sure we did. It was years ago, but we did do them once. Yeah. You could throw him a couple of extra bucks, yeah. you know, tip them and you, know, you, I, you earned it. I, and you know what? I, I, maybe it's because he comes into bars at the end of the night, but I don't really even, I don't remember if they were good or not. Uh, I, mean, I just anything, know that he's selling food to drunk people. And anything tastes really good smart. at two in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he could be selling. Didn't taste bad. Shoelaces yeah. and. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they. I encountered a similar guy on a much lesser scale uh, at a bar uh, that was called like Caroline's or something. It's way up north. It's a country bar, Carol's. That's what it's called. Uh, Carol. My friend who I was with at the time, Jason, came back to the table from the bathroom with a pizza. And I was just like, where the hell did you get a pizza right now? And he's like, that dude is selling them for 10 bucks. And I opened it up. I shit you guys not. It was like Jack's. Yeah. And this guy was just selling them to drunks in boxes oh for 10 bucks. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, like Jack's? Jack's, like Jack's, Jack's like pizza. Frozen pizza. That oh are like two ninety nine each, a dollar ninety nine each. You know, when you said Jacks, I was like, "Wait, what is Jacks?" And I, I completely forgot the character from Mortal Kombat. So he was making <laughs> with the metal arms. Yeah. He was making like an eight hundred percent profit yeah. on yeah. each pizza. Oh yeah, oh, that, guy was, that guy was. Brilliant. Do you remember when we ran that last half marathon we did? The pizza and the, we had like all these food and drink. Like after you run the marathon, you get all these free food and beverage. You're like, oh, okay, cool. The beer ticket is for Michelob Ultra, and then the the food ticket was for. Uh, I can't remember the name of that pizza. I Frontier think it was, or something. Uh, what was it? I want to say you guys were saying home run because we oh, had a big home run. Home run. Yeah. Very good. good because number. we had oh, we had number. we had a big argument about it because I don't know if it's two different things, but I have had home run in before, like the actual restaurant, restaurant. and I thought it was great, and yeah. you guys were saying that it was terrible. Oh no! Like we didn't we threw it out. Yeah. We, we got it, and we just looked at it. Hell no! Yeah. We just Wait, from it. home run in. Yeah, but it was from like a food truck after a race, and it was a hot day, so it just nothing was adding it, it up. Looked, it was it a frozen home run in pizza? It was about about you know like a personal pizza about uh, this big okay. in its uh, own personal okay. box. None of it sounded right. Okay, and it was like it it, it it it's like it had the sausage on it that looked like rabbit turds. Oh, it was so you know? bad. You know those little balls that yeah. look like rabbit really turds. Really disappointing. Home run in. I love home run in, yeah, and yeah. the restaurant and the frozen pizza yeah. is really good. The problem good. is I don't know anything about home run in, so when I just saw it, I just have a bad first impression. Oh, it's then. good yeah. pizza, but like when we open up that small box, it was like rat food. Oh, and horrible. rat shit. It was, and like uh, especially it's after a half burro. marathon, yeah, that's not what you want. You want to like you want to scarf something down too. Like think about that, how bad that looked. Like you'll just eat anything I after it. I think we, we paid for that, did we? They were just no, handing them ticket. out. There was tickets that, that, that we got with our bundle. Like in your bag or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it was part of the bundle. So we just went to a home slice instead. Didn't we leave it yeah. on like a bench or like we we didn't want to toss we it? it. We were I try- threw it out. I didn't know. I thought when we were looking for the Uber, we didn't want to throw it out because we were like, "This." Oh, we wanted to give it to a homeless. We man. We wanted to give it to a homeless man. Didn't yeah. we, we just like leave it on the street somewhere? Yeah, guys, here you go. You're right. We gave it to a homeless man. Did he throw it back at you guys? This is real Chicago style pizza. This is a deep dish. <laughs> As I said, saying that little kid I, did to you, he threw his French fries yeah. back at you. Like, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> I know what rat turds look like. Uh, oh my God. Um, Sadly enough, I do. Jeff. Yeah. What are Where you th- rating? What is this called again? <laughs> Necron 99. How you read that? Look at that. That's hard to read. It's that. just like three We're, Floyd's labels. We didn't yeah. know that yum yum, yum was yum yum. yum. Yeah, that's a, remember when we tried to read that? We couldn't read it. <laughs> looks like some odd Middle Eastern writing. <laughs> looks like rectum. Necron 99. Rec- ne- rec- what? Necron. 
Oh, N- neck. Neck. Yeah. That looks like an R to me. N E C R O N. What's this? Oh, 99. 99. Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. Shame on you. This is coming from a graphic designer. Shame on you. Haven't, you noticed, haven't you noticed that they love the theme of a necromancer? You know what this looks like on the label? You guys remember that cartoon, that adult rated, like PG 13 R rated movie from the 80s called Wizard? Remember what it was called? It was, a no, it was an independent movie. This guy looks just like the cover of it. Look it up. I'm not making this shit that's up. That's probably that's probably where the artist say, inspired that, it. That, yeah, that very it looks well just like be. him. Yeah, Wizard. It was an adult, uh, adult um, animated movie. And by adult, it had adult content. Nothing like too nasty, but some adult content. Anyway, sure. Jeff. Yes. What Oops. are you rating this Scotch style ale? Um, I'll keep it concise because we got to go through four people. But um, I like this one. I like the fruitiness. I like the you know I, I love citrusy kind of hoppy beers. So for me, this one's really good. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. That's good, Kevin. Um, I'm also going to give it an eight and a half. It actually for me got better as I kept drinking it. I, 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 I could keep drinking this right now. Yeah. Um, I, I got the citrusy started coming on in the yeah. second glass, and yeah, I'm also a fan of that. I, I liked it. Very good. Danny. Uh, I am going to go 7.5. Uh, I liked it a lot, uh, but to me, it oddly enough, kind of that really kind of sharp smoke and resin that I tasted initially on the beginning kind of faded for me as I kept drinking this, and I, I missed that in the it's like bottom, kind of the bottom Yeah, in the bottom yeah. half of mine, I kind of missed what I was getting at the intro. Uh, I still liked it, though. Still very good beer. I'm kind of a, I'm going to say eight, which is like right there. Uh, and I don't say that, but you know, I, that's what I had in mind. Uh, I feel that I really, it's kind of a combination of what you're saying that it felt like that, that, that strong flavor, the resin, the, the fruitiness, a little bit of the hop, uh, was definitely predominant when you first drink it. It faded over time, but it was drinkable. It was very pro- approachable. Very smooth time. for seven and so, a half percent. So I'm giving it an eight. Uh, I think that's a, that's a great, that's definitely, definitely a beer. I will come back again. Uh, three yeah. Floyd's. Fantastic brewery. We've had several they on the show. They don't do a lot of things wrong. Yeah, they really yeah. don't. It, it, it's it, they're very, very, very. They know what they're doing in Indiana. Yep. <laughs> yep. We got to go back. Yeah, that we was do. Fantastic. Yeah, we and should, it's so close. Yeah, we should do that for just a random it's like Saturday. A, did you go to the restaurant? Yeah, yeah. just the beer pickup. Restaurant. Restaurant. It took a while. Have to you get ever in. gone? Have you ever gone when it just opens and the lines outside the door? Yeah, exactly we, what happened? Uh, yeah. We waited an hour and a half. Did they come outside? out and tell you the rules? Yeah. Yep. Yes, they did. Now, so, so someone's been there before. Oh, yeah. For another oh, bachelor yeah. party, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Twice. Yes, yes, yeah. I was bringing that back. Well, yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Oh, sure. Yeah. That yeah. was one. Yeah. Okay. It's so close, though. We got to go back. And that yeah. other place that we went to before 18th Street. Street. 18th Street. Yeah, that was good. And it's only like an hour away. Yeah, we, not less than that, man. Yeah, it was like 50 like, minutes, yeah, 45 minutes. Yeah, that was really good. Sorry. No, don't why Tangent. You apologize. Why you apologize? It was good. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 80. I agree with you. I've been one of your hosts, Big Deal Blake. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, but most importantly, patreon.com slash Big Deal Blake to support the show and get your extra rewards and perks. Jeff, where can people learn more about you and the Chicago Grind? Uh, just go to the Chicagogrind.com. You can find everything there blogging, podcasts, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of it's there. Danny, I don't know if you still plug, but I know that Danny likes to criticize the show a little bit more now that he's not on it a little bit more because it's a lot easier to do it when Better you're on the show. Better friend. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, you want to plug some stuff? Always. You can find me at Danny Adam B on Instagram to see the ridiculous photo journal of thing I call my life. Right. Coming to you live from Kansas City. Kansas City. Kevin, um, nope. you're going to see you at the Hawks game, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you can see you, yeah. the, see you at the see you on the the the, the golf course. Yes, I'll see yeah. you on the golf course. See you on the Cubs games this year. Oh or, yeah, or I've already casino. been to two. I've already been to two Cubs. Cubs going to do it this year. Back to back. Super rare. Yeah. Super rare. I'm a gambler, so my like I, I don't want to say yes for money purposes, gotcha. but as a fan, I want to say yes. Well, yeah. it's not a good start. Yeah. You guys will be there in a couple of years too. It's gonna be yeah. It'll be four or five. <laughs> yeah. Unity. As always, everybody. Thank you for liking, sharing, and telling a friend. And most importantly, the next one's on me and Danny. And, and all of us. And Kevin. We're and, all going to buy and him. And Blake. We're, all, we're all friendly. And Blake's my yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really going to buy any I'm beer. Saying, they're not going to buy any beer. I'll buy the beer. I'm the visiting but, guest. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to write their name, but yeah. I'm going to buy Danny's it. buying my beer. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.